Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Before watching the video, you may like this video because uh, every day I am recording steel structure design, especially for you people, uh, which can help you if you are working on construction sites. So before starting the video, you may like this channel and like this video and if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe this channel with press bell icon to get notification for new civil engineering update videos because uh, i did uh, a lot of videos especially on steel structure design on different construction sites okay so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is the junction between beam and column junction between beam and column which is very critical point in rcc slab or you can say in beam if you see this is column and from four sides you can see the beam floor beam which is designed for six story commercial building so why this is critical point that's why because uh, here you can see extra steel rods from each side there also there you can see at the distance of l by four where we have negative bending moment where we have negative bending moment absolutely we are providing extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment if you see in this column uh, in this beam we have four steel rods in bottom portion in upper portion you can see they provided two steel rods in this beam you can see they provided three steel rods at the bottom in upper portion they provided two steel rods why what's the reason behind this if you see the spin between these two column is here 24 feet so therefore we have four steel rods at the bottom if you see this spin is 14 feet therefore we have three numbers of steel rods at the bottom that's why because structure loads uh, it's depend on the structure load so according to the structure load we are providing steel structure design for different residential building and commercial building so therefore guys if you see here we have here total five numbers of steel rods here we have total six numbers of steel rods dia is same 16 millimeter and 16 millimeter for both if you see here we have 60 grade steel rod for each column and beam this is 60 grade steel okay so here it's depend on the length okay it's depend on the different story building it's depend on the structure load here with the structure load is minimum compared to this one its structure load is maximum because the spacing is maximum and here the spacing is minimum in this rcc structure design so therefore i'm telling you guys at the distance of l by 4 you should provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment here we don't have a negative bending moment uh, here we have positive bending moment at the bottom portion but if you see the length is about 14 feet here the length is about 24 feet so therefore uh in tension zone we have four steel rods because concrete is weak in tension so we have four steel rods concrete is strong in compression therefore we have two steel rods in upper portion if you see the spacing is here seven inches especially at this place where we have positive bending moment here we have negative bending moment the spacing is four to five inches of stirrups look at here but also we have extra steel rods three extra steel rods we have one at the middle and two are side bars look at here but if you see here we have only six numbers of steel rods if you come here so here guys we have nine numbers of steel rods four at the bottom two are side bars one at the middle look at here and two in upper portion so three numbers in top portion at this uh, place where we have negative bending moment so this is the other section okay and if you see guys three at the bottom so three plus four so this is seven and two are sidebar so this is nine numbers so we have two sections but this section is very important to resist negative bending moment so if you need to provide the lapping that's why because 60 grade steel rod length is 60 feet so therefore sometime we require to extend the length of the beam so at the bottom section you can see they provided the lapping so the lapping is provided at the junction of beam and column but don't provide lapping at this place where we have l by four distance because here we have negative bending moment at the distance of l by four but you can see they provide it here so if you require to provide the lapping so you can provide after l by four but not at the middle at the middle we have positive bending moment but yes if you require to provide lapping but in upper portion in compression zone you are able to provide the lapping but in tension zone are in uh, bottom portion you are not able to provide it that's why because there we have positive bending moment due to positive bending moment it cannot uh, resist with uh, any kind of uh, structure load okay guys you can see this is the other junction between beam and column you can see the extra steel rods because we have two section of each beam okay so guys you can see 
this kind of video can help you if you are working on construction site if you are studying because uh, most of the students they are just reading the books but they don't know the practical side they don't know the site engineering so therefore i'm providing a uh, steel st structural design i am uh, on uh, so i did a lot of videos especially on steel structural design and also i have a lot of projects especially on steel structural design and uh, therefore uh, i like to share the steel structural design with you people which can help you also house planning construction site visitors visits etc as you can see and now this is the beam which length is 24 feet the other beam is also about 26 feet that one okay guys these uh, so i am against of this okay these hooks should be bent on 135 degree not on 90 degree but they already did so therefore if you are working so be careful especially for these points which i am discussing and practical videos so if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new on this youtube channel thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye